Working at Dutch Brothers Coffee in Spokane, I learned so much, not necessarily about coffee or, or running a business or managing money or, or any of that stuff. No, people. I learned so much about people. And let me share with you a secret in the barista world. And some baristas don't even know this, but when they think about it, they will realize, oh my goodness, he is so right. And this is it. You can profile someone based upon what coffee they order. That's it. Now you're like, oh, come on, Bo. Oh, now you're putting people in a box again, which is what I love about sociology uh, for some of those who actually call it a, uh, a field of academic study. <laughs> That's not a real area of study. Well, you know what sociology is, and that is the study of people groups. And uh, I, what I like about it, what I liked about it, it's not like I pursued it full time, but the few classes I did take on it was, uh, it gave you an excuse to generalize and to put people in boxes. Uh, psychology, of course, is, you know, how the mind works and stuff, and everything like that. But on an individual basis, sociology is how people interact in their mind and, and sort of the same things as sociology, as psychology but people groups. And so don't be hating me for generalizing people because after all, it's sociology. <laughs> so you may be wondering, all right, Bo, give it to me straight. How do you profile people based upon their coffee drinks? Well, let me give you some examples. If someone orders some coffee with tremendous amounts of sugar or sweetener, they are most likely, I'm not going to say they always are, because of course there's, there's going to be an exception to this. Like, oh, you're wrong. But the vast majority of the time, they are smokers. Interesting, huh? It's true. Virtually every person who said, I want an extra sweet bow, or, oh, this one lady had me put 10 10, count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 10 sugar packets, sugar in the raw, so the sugar crystals, dump them into her latte, and she said, do not stir it, uh, because what she liked to do was stick the straw in the bottom of the cup and slurp up these crystals and crunch on them. Ugh. She was a huge smoker. Mm, yeah. Uh, by the way, this whole profiling thing, I know it's very, very shallow, and you're going to be like, oh, these baristas are watching me. Yeah, they're watching you. Everybody's, well, not everybody's watching you, but someone who does something day after day after day, they need something to entertain their little minds, all right? Let me share with you uh, what a straw means. If you get a straw in a hot drink, that means that you are a woman. I, don't ask me why. But if you ask a guy if they want a straw in their hot mocha, they're going to be like, no, why do I want a straw? Yeah, yeah uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, except for this one gay guy who was just like, give me a straw. And that was a, that was a little weird when he kept saying that to me. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's see, what else? What how are there? What other ways can you profile people? Isn't this fascinating? Uh, ooh, a lot of shots of coffee. Uh, we're talking a lot being more than four. More than four shots of coffee. That means that you are a redneck. That's right. If you get five, six, seven shots of coffee, you are most likely doing it because you just want to, uh, you know, get that really, really extreme buzz and, and I'll probably want to show off a little too. And uh, hey, but you can deal with that because you're a tough backcountry, backwoods kind of person. I, I saw these things over and over and over again. I'm not making this up. This is like categorically, I actually got to the point of writing these things down like this is so weird. Oh boy, a cappuccino, at least here in the Pacific Northwest. You know what that means? If you order a cappuccino, it means that I don't want to use the word pretentious because that's kind of mean. Uh, 
but it it means that you don't really care for being normal like everybody else you have to get something different and there's a little pretentious side to that you know uh, now once again there are exceptions to all of these things for example my uncle in California he orders cappuccinos and and he's not a pretentious fellow at all a really super nice guy but he always orders a, um, a dry cappuccino uh, but for the most part you know you're pulling these lattes and americanos and and you know steamers all these different things all day long and then like once a week you get someone ordering a cappuccino and uh, once again this is regional specifically in the pacific northwest and they're just like i would like a cappuccino please and if it's a woman they usually have a pantsuit on and if it's a guy it's usually a suit and a briefcase and a really nice car you know what i mean you're starting to see this like oh i could see them ordering a cappuccino Wow. Let me share with you one last fascinating way to profile someone. If you are a barista, uh, that is like a well-experienced barista, the, the vast majority of the time, once again, heavy, heavy generalization, it's sociology, you will get an Americano. That's just hot water and, and, and shots. You may be like, well, oh, come on, Bo. You know, that, that's, that's really... But no. As a barista, for the most part, you know that it's all about the taste of the coffee. And milk and chocolate milk and syrups can really mask a lot of that. So if you're somewhere, you want to experience the flavor of the coffee. Probably not to the point of just getting straight shots... So you want to cut it with a little something, and that would be hot water, an Americano. Fascinating, huh? So if you're out and about, and if you want to be a redneck smoker, uh, pretentious barista, then order some kind of monstrosity. I don't know what that would be. But there are many, many other ways to profile people. And if you're a barista, have a lot of fun with this. And if you're not a barista, don't worry about it. Don't worry about people profiling you and stuff. Um, But it's, uh, yeah, it's like palm reading or some mystical witchcraft like that. Uh, No, it's really just observational sociology. There we go.